hey everyone welcome back to motherboard here thank you so much for coming back to my channel i very I very much appreciate it today we're going to continue our con conversation on the porosity of your hair about two weeks ago back i did a video on knowing your porosity if you haven't seen that pause this video go in the description box below you will see there is a link link it and then come back to this video okay so let's continue our conversation last in the last two weeks you learned about low porosity and what you need to do if you have low porosity so now we are going to be talking about high porosity i have this little dem demonstration right here to show you what i'm talking about when you have high porosity let's say that's your cuticle that's your hair shaft okay when you have high porosity here, that means that your cuticle is wide open, it's raised like this. So your cuticle is raised that much and we are going to put in moisture but it's going to go as fast as it comes in, it's going to go out, your hair is going to be feeling dry like it's not getting anything at all because as fast as you put it in that's how fast it goes out so that's the meaning of high porosity high porosity means that your critical is wide open okay so we know that we have high, we have high porosity here and we need to know some things that we need to do first thing is first when washing your hair you determine how regular you want to wash your hair if you want to wash your hair once a week if you want to wash it once a month if you want to wash it every two weeks it's all up to you you decide how to wash it first thing is first you need a really good shampoo and you need a sulfate free shampoo whether you're washing it in two weeks a month a week you need a sulfate free shampoo and you need a really good sulfate free shampoo okay the reason for a sulfate free shampoo is that the sulfate free shampoo will not strip your hair completely unlike if you use a conventional shampoo that have sulfate sulfate in it okay so you need sulfate free shampoo when washing your hair water temperature is very important because your cuticle is already open unlike with low porosity here you, you need to open it your cuticle is already open so water um, temperature is very important so you do not want cold water because if you use cold water now you will be closing up your cuticle and you still need your cuticle to be open while you're washing it to put in moisture so we're gonna be using look yes so you need lukewarm water to um, open your cuticles but not to open it to the extreme that the moisture you're putting in is still coming out so we're gonna be using lukewarm water now, if you're washing your hair once a week, fine, go ahead and use a normal sulfate free shampoo. But if you're washing your hair once a month or once every two months, it's all whatever, whatever you decide, then you need a clarifying shampoo with sulfate free. Every shampoo you're gonna be using is sulfate free. <laughs> it, it wouldn't make lather. Like when you're washing your hair, if you buy a sulfate free shampoo and you're washing your hair, it wouldn't make as much lather as a conventional shampoo. So don't be alarmed by it. It's still cleaning your hair. It's just not stripping everything out of your hair. A good pre-treatment to do before washing your hair will be um, baking soda, baking soda or apple cider vinegar. Either one of the choice will help you remove build up from your hair before you wash it it's really good and it's really good for high porosity here too <laughs> so yeah so we're gonna you're going to pre treat your hair and then you're gonna wash it after you have done that and you have washed your hair with sulfate free shampoo i'm continuously saying sulfate free because it's important that you get a sulfate free shampoo after you finish washing your hair and you're about to treat your hair you need to get a conditioner with anti-humectums in it anti-humectums in it 
The meaning of antihumectums means that it helps. The meaning it means that it helps close up your cuticles. So, whereby your, your cuticles will stay open if you use just a normal conditioner with with a conditioner with anti antihumectums in it, it helps close up your cuticles, and that's what you want when you have high porosity because you want to keep your moisture in your hair. So your hair don't feel that dry and brittle and have a little knots in it and if you comb it, you're breaking up, you need moisture. That means your hair is just really, really dry and you need moisture. Now if you cannot find a good anti-humectum conditioner, buy a regular conditioner. Some things you could put in it to make it an anti-humectum conditioner you can use oil you can use coconut oil you can use palm oil you can use um what other oils can i think about right now <laughs> you can use raw shea butter you could use um evoo -E like extra virgin olive oil you could use all these things and put in your conditioner and you're conditioning you're conditioning your hair and then you rinse it out with cold water now so you want to like you just apply your conditioner you have a plastic cap over your head and now you want to just seal your cuticles while it has all its moisture in it you want to seal it so now you need cold water when you're about to rinse out your hair you need cold water to just close it up and keep all that moisture inside there so you need to use cold water after you shampoo and you condition so you shampoo you use lukewarm water you put your conditioner on and then you use a plastic cap on your head sweat it out <laughs> so now that you sweat it out and your hair have a lot of heat on it and your cuticle already taking all your moisture 10 15 20 minutes taking all your moisture when you're ready to take it out remove the cap leave it for a few minutes let your hair just blow so you get back to a normal temperature and when you're washing it out put cold water on your hair we need cold water okay so now that that is done and you're still in some cuticles time to dry no blow drying avoid heat as much as possible when you have high porosity hair um, use natural oils that is also anti humectum and that it also is going to help seal your cuticles throughout the day when we are using oils. The same oils I just started putting in your conditioner is the same oil you're going to put in your shaft now that your hair is dry. It's going to seal your hair and keep your hair moist throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout a month if you want to. You have to continue putting your, your oils in your hair. But oils is very light. Although the oils that I'm telling you to use is heavy because you are high porosity, you still need that that um, heavy oil. So that's why I'm I'm telling you to use um, like coconut oil and extra virgin oil, shea butter, this kind of oils in them because black castor oil, all this oil in it because it's heavy but light at the same time. You know, it's easier for when I say it's light, it's easy for your hair shaft to absorb it than. A product that you will buy with a lot of creams and water-based products and alcohol and all this kind of thing so it's harder for your hair to absorb that but it's easier to absorb oil so that's where the, the lightness of the oil comes in but the oil will be heavy enough to seal your cuticles in place and when that is done you continue going about your business now <laughs> you have styled your hair it looking good your hair started to feel healthy and that will happen over a period of time if you continue using the right products on your hair your hair will start getting back healthy it takes time but it will start getting back healthy your cuticle will stay still you, you are moving your hair to the direction that you want it and that is medium porosity normal porosity so that's what you need to do so now that I have finished giving you all the information that you need for high porosity hair, we will continue in another video with medium porosity hair and next time. Thank you so much for staying tuned and watching the video throughout, throughout the end. I hope I educate you enough to help you deal with your high porosity hair. So as I say, I like, like, like <laughs> I always say, I'll see you in the next video. So stay safe, stay blessed, stay positive, one love.
<laughs> and enjoy your day have an amazing day thank you so much again for watching mother but here and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe subscribe <laughs> press the bell notification and button so that you will be notified thank you so much for watching mother but here and have an amazing day